I am Kiana Thompson. I'm the owner of Holistic Harmony, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction and building quality, passionate relationships. And it's time for your monthly. Ooh, These monthlies have been something else, been a doozy. I am an intuitive reader, so basically what that means is whatever spirit tells me the cards mean is what they mean at that time. It does not you know, don't look at the card like, oh, that's a such and such. That means no. That's what it means to you. Spirit telling me something different during this read, okay? Um, positive vibes only. Uh, take what resonates, leave what, don't, what doesn't. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it float. Don't rock the boat. Hey, you might get a song. You might get a movie. Who knows what's going to happen on this read? I don't even know who this read is for yet. So we're going to lay the cards out. I'm going to get you a Kiana card, um, my very own inspirational deck, which is available for order. Everything you need will be in the description box, okay? To so get in contact with me, um, please like, subscribe, subscribe, and share the videos, okay? Okay, okay? And I'll get you an Oracle card message at the end as well, just to see um, a final word or message that Spirit wants you to have, okay? Let's see. We are winding down. There's only two left. Aries. Yay to my Aries. So Aries is a fire sign. They're a cardinal. They're ruled by Mars. If your birthday is between March 21st and April 19th, these messages could resonate with you. Aries are very courageous. They can be impatient. They love leadership roles and they really don't like delays. Don't keep an Aries waiting, okay? Don't do it. So Aries, let's see what is popping in your life for June. This is a general read. So that just means, again, whatever comes up is what comes up. If it feels like love, if it feels like work, if it feels like money, um, we'll see. We'll see. Hope you are doing good out there, Aries, because just because. Let me get us some smoke. Spirit said do it. Leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there. Get us some smoke. How my fire going to act up when I'm doing a fire sign? What they blowing for? Oh, shoot. <laughs> there we go. I mean, like my big ass sage stick so I can get us smoked out so we can get into these cards. You feel me? I know you feel me, Aries. I know you feel me. Aries is so funny. You know what I love about Aries? I feel like Aries are very direct but short with words. But they say what they mean. They mean what they say. And sometimes you don't know, like, if they even like you. You'd be like, well, do they like me? Do they not like me? But, well... But they be loving you. You don't even really know because they're just so direct and, and they, you know, short with their words. They don't have no room for fluff. And so I love that about you, Aries. I be like, and hey, y'all just let me talk. I'm a Scorpio. I just be like, but and then y'all be like, okay. And then I be like, all right. And then I hug you and I see you like, okay, I see you later. And I'm, you know, flutter. <laughs> my little cell phone out and i love my aries ring thank you every friends for all being um you know just let me do my thing i swear i love that about you guys okay can we get a message for my aries friends that are direct and courageous and um leaders what do you want them to know for the month of july what do you want them to know 
for the month of July. What should they be looking out for? What should they be focusing on? We ask for messages of love and abundance, peace and tranquility. Okay, I guess it's supposed to be out. We'll take it. You were the second sign that had a card. Oh, and it's two cards. But I don't think that's your card. If it will, let it come back out. That fell sideways. And it's a door to volume. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that. I didn't in the other read because the spirit didn't tell me to. The spirit is telling me to leave it that way. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see what it is. It's almost like I feel like you got one foot in, one foot out type of. Whoa, what the heck? <sighs> Definitely not keeping all this. I'm just seeing what it is. Okay. You got some healing. You got some storms you've been feeling in and heartbreak that you've been in. It's time for you to get balanced in that. But, oh, so did I mention that I don't do reversals? I don't do reversals, but literally this car fell into place in reverse. We keeping it. Woo, Chad, that'd be an Aries to be the uh, change agent up in here. You changing a whole read, okay? Okay, that's too many. Come on, Aries. But you know what, Aries? I'm going to try one more again. Aries, you... You're attached to some things that you need to let go of. You're in a comfort zone that you need to walk away. I'm keeping it. All right. Universe said keep it. Got a lot of cards out here. I'm like, I don't want it. I'm gonna put it back. And universe said, No, you're not. I got a word for that. All right, universe is the boss, y'all. Can I get a word for my Aries? Let's clarify some stuff. Okay, cool. Let's clarify some stuff. Whoa. Come on, Aries. Mm -mm. I don't know. It's too woo. Okay. Aries. <sighs> Give me a second. You got a lot going on. You having some tower moments. You, you know, whoo, it would be an Aries. Shit is coming down around you. But it's supposed to, right? If this is, you know, foundations are shaking and needed to be broken up. Stuff needs to, it's not stable. Stuff needs to come down. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, God darn it. Uh, where we at? Aries. I'm with my Aries. My fire signs. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting this from you, Aries. Aries, let me tell you what this feels like to me. Um, A self-healing journey. It doesn't feel like love or money. It feels like self-healing, self-love. There is some love here too. It's some money here. It is. But overall, the theme for me is healing and self-healing. So somebody owe you some money. And I feel like because Aries don't play. So they about to pay you, Aries. <laughs> they about to come 
um, with a message like, I got the money I owe you. Now, it might not be all of it is what I'm thinking. If you loan, say you loan somebody like $1,000, they're going to be offering you like two fifty. <laughs> Because you have a financial constraints card, but it doesn't feel like your money. It doesn't feel like your coins are not popping. Your coins um look to be good, honestly. But I feel like you blown some money out. Like you gave somebody some money. And it could have been a long time ago. It don't even have to be recent. But we are, you know, Mercury retrograde is now, Mercury is now direct, um, you know, starting, you know, has started the directness. So we're still kind of in the shadow period. So we still have that room where, you know, people are coming back around. So somebody who owes you money is coming back around. For some of you, you could be paying for something that, um, for a kid, for a younger person. So for some of you, somebody is, is paying you back a debt. And for, for others, this could be you paying out money for your kid. So say like your kid wants to go summer camp or something. You pan out, okay? Let me get a card for the page of coins. Yeah, and you're worried about it. What the heck? Aries, you're worried about this money. So you... Hmm. Yeah, but you don't have to be. I like it. Yay! Okay, so you're worried about this, this financial transaction that's taking place. Um, the spirit is saying, get out of your head about it. You made the right decision. You, you may, I you see, I'm feeling like whoever you loan this money to, you did it from your emotions, your heart space. You did it because you truly want to help this person. And maybe they said they'll pay you back or whatever. And they did not, you know, was not able to or whatever, but you did the right thing. And, um, you know, you made the right decision. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, and if it's the other way around, the other story scenario where it's your kid and you're like, oh, how am I going to pay for this? Don't worry about it. Like you have so much love and so, so, you know, for this, this situation that I feel like it's just gonna work. The pentacles are just gonna be there for some reason. Like you're gonna work it out. You know what I'm saying? Like this sounds so crazy, but I'm saying like Big Mama Fish Fry. Like <laughs> you're selling plates. Like you are in because you're Aries. You guys are all about forward movement and work, right? So I see in strategic strategy, right? So in winning a war, like you, like okay, you need ten thousand dollars. If I sell, you know, this many plates. At this amount of money, I can get the ten thousand dollars by this day. Like you already, you know, you don't have to worry about it because you know how to work out the pentacles. You know how to move the pentacles around. You know how to go into the, you know, cupboard and you know say, okay, let's move these pentacles this way. I'm seeing like a cupboard with the with the um with that thing with the with the. Help me out, y'all. Don't know what it is. Y'all tell me in the comments. Will you move the pentacles like this? Like this? Like it's like an adding machine, like an old fashioned adding machine. I'm seeing that like you got you open up this this cover and you're like okay I made two pentacles today put that over there okay I need three more pentacles put that there like you're adding it up like you're doing it so you don't have to worry about it if it's you paying for something you're gonna be able to you're gonna have the funds to do it is what I'm is what I'm you have so much heart that you will create the funds to do whatever you need to do and if this was you helping somebody out. Again, they're going to pay you back. Maybe not, you know, like, I, again, I see you open up the cabinet. Okay, you know, um, little Bobby gave me $20 today. You put it, you know, you, you, you're keeping track of it and they're, you know, bringing it back to you. So you don't have to worry about any of that. What either scenario is working out, right? You're counting your coins. You're making sure you're adding up. And you know what's crazy is that honestly, I believe that you're giving or you paying out is a blessing. Like it's going to make you more successful. It's going to bring you more because your heart, like most areas that I know honestly have these huge hearts. They don't talk a lot, but they do a lot. They really, like I'm saying, like they're strategic, they're planners, they're doers. They're like, what are we doing? Who needs help? Okay. What do you need? Okay. Here goes $10,000. Like, 
<laughs> you guys are just on it, right? So you don't have to worry. You, you know, your business, I feel like your business is really good. And you are, you know, just have so much heart that that's going to propel um, your success even more. So you all good. Um, this Knight of Wands is coming in. <sighs> you got some, um, you got your own energy here. So this could be you or somebody coming in. I feel like this somebody is an in and out person though. For whatever reason. You know, sometimes the Knight of Wands, um, I see what people, other readers see, like, and I'm seeing it with this. I feel like this person, um, is a passionate in and outer. Like, they come and sizzle you up, and then they gone. I want to set you up. TikTok, you don't stop all night. Make you feel I want. Yes, I want to sex you up. So let me tell you, this night wants to sex you up, okay? And you want him to sex you up. But what you don't want is him to come and sex you up and then you don't hear from him again to the next full moon, okay? No, we ain't got time for that. We don't want that little uh little night. We need you to grow up and be the king. But you're going to have to trust your intuition on this. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It looks like it looks like your knight is doing some work, though. Yay. And you find them very attractive. And they find you very sensual and very sexy. And I know we're going to have a new... Yeah. You've been working on yourself and here come this, um, here come this night. But it's like third party situation or it just could be some, oh. <laughs> he wants you though. Let, let me tell you, let, let's, let me, let's see. So I get, oh, I guess we, yes, we do have some love here. Um, of course we got love here. Okay, Knight of Wands, you better show up for my Aries, okay? You better show up for the Aries. They broke your heart. They play this in and out game. And even if it's not a third party situation, and third party does not just always mean romantic. I keep having to say that third party could be kids, could be, you know, mom, mom and boy type of thing, or whatever. Whatever fits you with your third party, okay? I'm like thinking if, if the cheating don't fit, don't force it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there's another energy that's mixed in with y'all energy that's causing heartbreak. But this person does in and out. He loves you. He sex you real good. The sex is great. You love to be with them. And then he's out. And then he's back. And then he's out. And then he's back. But. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love when I get a match. King and Queen of Pentacles right together. So listen to this, Aries. He, he, in the, in, the, in the past, he's been in and out. I feel like in his out or his, you know, his, and you, you've been trying to like hang in it. He sees you so beautifully, right? Like you have to trust your intuition on, on, on what to do. You have to trust yourself. You have to do your work. So in and out energy could leave us not focused. You have to focus. You have to heal you have to, you know, do your self work. You have to work on your business because, again, you you have a very um, um, successful cards when it came to your money. So you want to make sure you're focusing on your pentacles, okay? You don't get distracted by this knight of wands because he in and out. You know, he's figuring out his stuff or whatever, and you his safe space. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Why, you know? They do the safe space like this. I don't know. But he's doing his work and he he's showing up twice. He wants he wants you. He wants to do the work. You have to allow him to do the work, Aries. You can't fix this. You're both on the journey. And you are going to get the offer that you want from... I feel like you are going to get the offer that you want from the night. But it's not now. I feel like you both have work to do. I feel like, um, you know... It, it, it's definitely gonna definitely gonna be some va va boom if you want that like yeah that's popping okay 
Do, 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 do. Yeah. I want to sex you up. But they are, I feel like, because they're showing up like this consistently, I, you know, I feel like they are going to show you something different eventually. Again, I think it's why universe is saying trust your intuition. For some of you, they're just going to keep being in and out. And for some of you, they're doing their work. And for some of you, um, it's a lot of entanglements <laughs> going on. So, you know, you just have to take it, take it how it feels for you with your intuition and really doing the self-work on yourself so that you can know. So if you're doing your self-work and you're taking care of yourself and you're loving yourself so much, then you will know if it's in and out energy. You will know if if this person is being honest. If it's a girl, boy, whatever, it doesn't matter. You will know. You will know in your heart of hearts that this person is um coming to stay. They're not just coming for a one night stand or just um to to love you physically for a minute and then bounce. You're gonna know. And I feel like for some, the night is you know he he's he. Okay. Y'all both are on a journey and need to take a leap of faith. However, I feel like I'm just gonna be honest and say with you, this this night not ready. This night is gonna be in and out. And until he has actually done the work, um, this is what you're gonna keep getting. So you're gonna have to um before he or she can offer you something stable. You're going to have to be stable in yourself. You're going to have to love yourself so much that the Knight of Wands cannot come in and out. There's no spiritual option for um, him or her to come in and out of your life. They have to be the King of Pentacles. They have to be stable. They have to be the boss, right? Um, because you're the Queen of Pentacles or you're the King of Pentacles. However it go, masculine and feminine. And... Lord, today, bug, a flying one, <laughs> summertime, shy. Um, But for you guys to get to be a vibrational match, you're going to have to do the work. And I do see a ten of cups here, but I see the five of cups on top of it, which means it's a lot of work and a lot of sadness and grief to get past before you get there so they're gonna you know i feel like you guys will eventually get there i feel like you know this in and out energy this sucks but i feel like you got to trust your intuition you got to do some healing work you got to get into that full full moon energy and really get into your space of not allowing the in and out your spiritual space of not allowing the in and out you have a lot of anxiety going on you got you worried you worried about some stuff and it could be love but i feel like it's is you i feel like you're afraid you're gonna leave your night i feel like i, I feel like i feel like aries because you're so strategic you're so forward thinking anyway that you move fast right but I feel like you worry that if you do your work spiritually, physically, mentally, that you'll leave your night. And you will. He's a knight. He's still on the quest. He's still learning. He has to grow up into the king and do, do his work. But you can't hold yourself back because you got a lot of forward, fast movement. It's time for you to take action. <laughs> What Aries don't though, right? But it's time for you to stop procrastinating. It's time for you to close the cycle, that chapter of old, so that you can begin the new one. You literally have the world um, at your fingertips, under your feet, holding the world, something. You got it. However you want to <laughs> do it, you got it. Old stuff is ending and new stuff is beginning, um, new cycles. And it's time for you to move forward. Um, I did a, a read for Aries and I told her it was time to get her a new car. And then she ended up having some spiritual stuff with the car um, happen. 
couple different things. I feel like universe is still telling all Aries to like look at their car. I don't know what this is about with your car, Aries, but check your car. It's I feel like it, it if your car is making you anxious, it's probably something you know wrong with it. I remember having a car and I would be driving in the rain and I would get so anxious. I was like, why? It's like I know I don't like driving in the rain, but I was having full fledged panic attacks. And came to find out like something was really, really wrong with my car and it was dangerously wrong with my car, right? So the universe tells us like when something is wrong, we have to pay attention to our body, our bodily sensation. So pay attention to your body sensation if you're feeling anxious at certain times when you're um, inside of your vehicle, okay? But it's time to close out those cycles that are ready to be closed. Don't keep trying to hold them open. What is this? Okay. Yeah, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Um, you're worried about that. You're anxious about that. And so here's the thing. They're coming. Right? I I told you that the money is trickling in. Whoever owes you this money is trickling in. They're coming. The ships are coming with the love on it, with the money on it, with the abundance on it. It's all coming. You know what you have to do in the meantime? Work. Move forward. Um, close out the cycles. Do the self-work. Do the healing. Do the love work. Because that's what you're doing. I told you, I felt like this reading for you, yeah, work. I feel like this reading for you is all about self-healing, self-love, moving forward. Um, yes, Queen of Wands, come on out in your own read. Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with some, um, you know, could be dealing with some more feminine energy that is um, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But I feel like it's going to be good. I feel like you're going to be working together. I feel like, okay, you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're nervous about this thing. <laughs> Old cycles are closing. New things are happening. Some stuff is moving fast and maybe even fast for Aries. It's Aries, you're fast moving. But maybe even this stuff seems fast. You're like, oh my God, what is happening? Everything is moving so fast. You know, work is just coming in. You're juggling a lot. You're doing a lot. But you're finding your balance. You're coming into your queendom. Um, you are, you know, feeling yourself. You're feeling sexy and vibrant and um, loving and sensual. You know what I'm saying? You like, I'm popping. I'm popping. Very confident. You have help. I feel like this queen of swords is a helpmate. I feel like this is somebody, again, this is work. I feel like this is somebody who you're going to be in collaboration with, working with um, in your business or at your job or whatever like that. But you're going to be working together um, for something and setting up for what you um, believe in and, you know, cutting through um, misconceptions and wow cut it through misconceptions sometimes cars just come out i i don't know i just go with what universe tell me i'm telling you um working together standing for what you believe in cutting through misconceptions about certain things i don't know what you know what it is but um starting a new again a new journey a new a new path and wishes fulfilled nine of pentacles yes goes come on Aries and make all your coins okay listen here get out your way get out your way Aries don't worry about this night I'm telling you this night he not even going nowhere he in and out he not going nowhere <laughs> let him do his work he got work to do you got work to do let him do his work child because you are pop Ben, okay you are collaborating you are working hard you all these ships are coming in you are fat fastly moving forward fast movement taking action right you know starting new cycles and new beginnings collaborations working together with people you know cutting out injustice help people you know i feel like you're fighting for the underdog you're you're fighting for the underdog so your mission is much it's it man it's big woo, 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 woo. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to keep this video short, but the videos that they are long. But you're fighting. You're helping people fight. You're fighting for the underdog. And you're starting a new journey. And because you're doing this thing, 
your wishes are being fulfilled. I told you, universe is like, your heart is so big that whatever you want, like you can call, like you, you can call Jesus up on the phone and be like, 1-800-DOW-JESUS. Hello? Yes. Can you wire me $25,000 because I'm doing the mission? Oh, you already know I'm doing that mission for the for the people to help them stand for what they believe. Oh, you already oh is oh yeah, I just got the oh I just got the ding. You put it in there? Okay. Thanks. Holla. Peace. That's you. Like your heart is so big. These are like just call me up on the main line. What you need, what you want, what you what, what, what? Like um, I don't know if you've seen the movie Matrix, but if you've seen the movie Matrix, there were times where they would literally like hit the hit their little thing in their ear or whatever, telecom, I don't know what it's called, whatever. And they would hit it and just tell them what they need. I need an AK-47. And it'd be there. I need a door. Where do I go? Door. I need, I need, like whatever they needed, they would just tap it and Jesus said, get me on the main line, B. Get me on the main line because I got you because I see the, I see how big your heart is. I see the work that you're doing and I'm sending you people to collaborate with. I'm sending you more work. I'm closing out cycles that don't serve you. Get out your head. I'm offering you love. You're going to get the romance. You're going to get what you're looking for. The one, the, the night just got to grow up. You can't keep allowing that in out energy. You can. Because like I said, I want to set you up. TikTok, you don't stop all night. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I don't see nothing wrong. But you got to focus. Bump and grind and then get back to your focus, okay? Because you have work to do. You have spiritual work. Your calling is bigger than you. And you know what? Aries, I'm just going to be all the way honest with you. I get it. I understand. I've been fighting this battle. I've been getting Jesus on the line like Jesus. I'm tired of being on this island. Like, I, I just want to get off the island, Jesus. And Jesus said, no, I need you on that island because you got work to do. Your gifts are bigger than you. You're helping the masses. You're helping the people. That's what Jesus is telling you. You are you are on the front, the, the ground. You're you're in the war. You're, you're on the ground level, right? You're the warrior. Like, you have to, like, you're leading, the, like, like, you're leading the charge, right? Like, have you seen 300 and 300? Like, the guy, um, like, he was the one that was the front leader. And he was one that encouraged all the people, like, we're going to spar time or whatever, right? That's you. You're you're that person. So, universe is like, yeah, you can bump and grind. That's fine. But you can't worry about the bumping and grinding. <laughs> because I got work for you to do. I got work for the night to do, too. The night got to do his work. Okay, so let's talk about this door to value that came out sideways, right? I feel like, again, money is popping, but it's going to be about your choices, okay? You have choices to make. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Here we go with this five of cups again. You all sad about this night of wands. See, you know, bumping and grinding with you and in and out, but you keep allowing it. So don't be sad about it. If you're going to bump and grind, bump and grind. You know what? We're not going to do this. <laughs> but I'm going to take the one that fell on the floor. Um, yeah, you are blocked. Let me tell you something. Aries, because I know y'all love y'all coins. Ain't that much bumping and grinding in the world, okay? You better be like Snoop Dogg. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Okay, ain't ain't no, let's not let's not play with these coins. Let's not play with these coins because the door to value is open for you, and money is is available to you, and what you value is available to you. So your you know home, spirituality, family, friends, this stuff is available to you. You have to make a choice. Of what you're going to do. Are you going to heal this heart? Are you going to heal? Are you going to let the sadness go? Queen of Cups. Yeah. It's time for you to get your emotions in check, Aries. Which I know for you, that could be um something special. 
So I feel like, you know, it's time for you to do that. Universe might send you a person to help you with that, like a, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But you're going to have a new way of communicating. And you, you have to make... Yeah. Oh, look at the King of Wands. Look at the King... Come on, King of Wands. You know what? Come on here, King of Wands. See what I'm trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you. Okay, let me sip this water so I can tell you real quick. The door to value is open. It's not closed. It's not upside down. And even upside down is still open, right? It just means that you might, you know. So I'm turning it upside right because I feel like, honestly, you just got money flowing to you. You got money flowing in, money money just coming at you, depending on the decisions that you make. You have to make quick, decisive, passionate decisions. You got to pick the, the you have to pick that thing um, from your heart, from your intuition, from what you know to do. Because you like you're literally changing the world. You're a change agent. So you you get the heart of lessons, change agent. Oh, I know. I'm telling you, I feel you. I feel you all the way. But you can't let this heartbreak and um, this sadness and grief stay. You can't keep crying over spilled milk. You have more cups that are full. You have more love to give. You have more love to receive. You, you're, you know, like I said, your heart is so big and it's full. And you got this queen of cups right here. Um, I feel like she's going to come, excuse me, or he to help you with inside of your emotions help you get more in touch with them you're gonna have a new way of communicating about money a new way of communicating about what you value what you will and will not take because you're doing your work you're like you know what i'm gonna focus on my spirituality and i'm gonna focus on my um coinage because my coinages are popping okay i'm gonna help the underdogs fight for what they you know i'm gonna fight for what i believe in and help the underdogs cut through any bs that's happening like i think you'll be help people like get things that they couldn't get without you. Like, things that were stolen from them. I hate to say reparations, but I feel like reparations for some reason. Um, or, you know, like, benefits or something that they might not even know they were, they were supposed to get. Like, I remember when I worked for a company. I'm not going to say the name because I don't know, like, what I can say or not say. Whatever. Don't try to sue me. Just my stories. Uh, but I worked for this company and they had these benefits and I would tell the clients um, who I was counseling and they would be like, wait, I can go to school for free? I'm like, yeah, everybody in your house, not just you, everybody in your household. Uh, um, talking about the housing program. Like, wait, they'll help me buy a house? Like, people literally just did not know their benefits. I feel like you're going to be helping people with that. And so, you have to make some choices and some and get some some focus because you're going to be bringing some stuff clear um, to them. And you are going to get a return to love. You are going to get some soulmate energy. You are going to get, um, you do have that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, soon as you focus and because you know the queens are are higher octave energy but you could have options like i feel like even though it's feminine I, you know feminine energy it does not mean girl it just means feminine energy right um so men can have feminine men do have feminine energy but they can relate to their feminine energy um too so i feel like you had the queens coming in you're gonna be working with you got this queen of cups right here you can have options too and you know that helps people grow up real quick when the other person has options that's all i'm saying <laughs> you're like oh wait, wait wait somebody else won't you like oh let me let me get it together real quick so i feel like you're you're gonna have to come up out of your own way and that's gonna be you doing your work because that's gonna block like if there's days where you can't get out of bed then you can't work right and so that will block your money that will block not only your blessings but other people's blessings so this is like i hate to say do or die because it's not do or die nothing is do or die but it is like serious right it is like 
serious. You're invested in this thing. You have you can have investments. You've been working hard. Like don't let it fall through the wayside because you're sad. And you got a lot of grief and a lot of heartbreak and heartache. Heal this broken heart, child, okay? Heal this broken heart because the night is growing up. The night is growing up as soon as, I'm not lying to you, as soon as you start really getting into your own thing and you're not even thinking about this night and you have made your sacred space where he cannot come in unless he the king, guess what he gonna do? Or she. Turn it to the king. They do they have to do their work. When you do your work, they have to do their work. You give them a space to do their work. So even if she or he or whoever, they're in the night right now and they want to set you up. They want to bump and grind. They don't see nothing wrong with it, right? But when you start taking care of the world the way you're supposed to, when you're the leader and the warrior out there doing your thing, you're not even thinking about Bumping and grinding or thinking about this night, this might have to step up. Cause now they gotta really get your attention. They got to they got to put in man work and they have to come into their kingdom. And that's what they're gonna do. And they're gonna help you work. I feel like they're gonna get in a they're gonna get in a fight with you. Come on. Challenge is what I'm hearing. Like they feel they feel like they're gonna be challenged and they're gonna have to do the work and they're gonna get in the fight. So whatever you're fighting for, I don't know your life, but whatever you're doing to change the world, this fast forward movement thinking, this you know injustices you're gonna be working for, this new way of communicating, they're gonna come back around. And when they come back around this time, it's not that in and out energy. It's not that Oh my God, these freaking books. It's not that in and out energy. It's going to be stable. It's going to be, you know, um, consistent. And they're going to be in a fight and they're going to fight for you and with you. And they're going to heal. They're going to help you um, to heal whatever this is so that you guys can start anew. Yay! I do see a lot of newness. Oh, once they turn to the king. Thank you, universe, for turning this knight into the king. Because I was like, this little knight gonna make me beat him up. And you're not being indecisive either. I feel like once he turns to the king and y'all both done your work, you know. you like, you know what? Cool. Let's make this decision. <laughs> you're gonna know how to make all the decisions. You're gonna be able to do everything that you want and be able to have, you know, um, Love and abundance for you. So you're going to be able to have everything in this place where it needs to go. Yeah, giving and receiving is going to be reciprocal. You're, you're, you're going to be... Oh, Ten of Pentacles, come on. I'm so happy for you, Aries. Because I, I promise you, like, I know you have a lot going on. You have a lot going on. And it's okay. Because it's all working out, you, you're going to make the right decisions. Trust yourself that you're making the right decisions um, and trusting your intuition and, you know, letting it fall clear up because you're going to, this relationship is going to be reciprocal and you guys are going to build um, generational wealth together. You're going to build a family together. It's just going to take some time, some self-work. You need to do some work. They need to do some work some healing work, and then you come back together and um, make your Ten of Pentacles. Then you both are sharing. You both are giving. You are giving gifts um, to each other because you, you know, it's so many energy. It's so many energy, and so many energy does not look, <laughs> I can't say this enough, how people think it's going to look. It looks messy. It looks stormy. It looks like attachment. It looks like fear child, if you don't get out this gate and go live your freaking life, you're trying to stay home like because it's a storm outside, but you really need to go where you need to go. Get in that new car, okay? Get a new one with your fancy new windshield wipers and go where you need to go. Do not wait around. I can't stress it for this two of cups. The two of cups is not going, the night is not going nowhere but up. And if you keep holding on to this attachment and staying in your comfort zone, then you're going to stay inside this storm. 
That's what I hear a uh, universe saying. If you want the storm to pass, stop holding on. Yep. Stop holding on. You got to be the queen. The queen don't hold on to attachments. She let people go. And let, you know what I just heard? I'm going to leave it right there. So, you know what I just heard? If you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If it's not, it never was. Do you know I read that on the keychain when I was probably about eight and literally have remembered it my whole life. And it just popped up in my head right now. Listen, you can't hold yourself stagnant because you love somebody. You have to love yourself. You have work to do, Aries, and lots of work to do. So I'm going to need you to be this queen of wands. I'm going to need you to step into your fire energy, your passion Okay, and you know, accept the gifts that are going to be given to you, give and receive. You got to let go, you don't have to do nothing. The universe is saying, Let go, it's time for you to move on, it's time for you to move away. Um, you literally could be moving or going on a trip or something, I don't know, but um. You're not left out in the cold. You just have things to do. Your person isn't left out in the cold. They just have things to do. It's time to get up outside this comfort zone. You've been comfortable too long and it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to let go and let the universe. The universe said, I got your relationship. I got that. Like, I'm working on you. You're like, I'm working on you. I'm working on him or her. And they're going to be offering you a cup of love. You're going to get, you're going to get the love, Aries. It's just not coming in your time. It's coming in divine timing. Again, you were saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If it does not, it never was. And you got options on the table, child, anyway. So you all to the good, okay? Woo, child. Aries, I think y'all tried to take me out. Let's get you some um, last messages. Let's end this with some messages. Trust yourself, Aries. Get you a Kiana card. I think I hear life purpose. I'm trying to make sure. Yeah. Life purpose is what it is. taking this one too though because this is right what i'm talking about and then i said uh life purpose right let's get this hmm. i'm telling you <laughs> you one more because i swear i'm like i just I'm, I'm telling you i already know is so your kiana card when i'm able to flow in love and enjoy everything that i have only then will i be aligned with the universe you have to flow in love. This is your this is this is the abundance that I kept seeing throughout your reading. But it comes when you make the choice to flow and be aligned with spirit. Self-love was at the bottom of the deck. Self-love keeps me sane and grounded. It strengthens my connection to the source. It allows me to be receptive from receptive to love from others. But I tell you, I'm telling you. You got to work on yourself. You got to get aligned and you're going to be all good because you are a healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. You got work to do. Your life purpose is bigger than you know, Aries. And then you got nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. So you have some healing to do. To, in order to be a healer, you have to be healed. Make sure your nutrition is on point, okay? Eat you some veggies, eat you some fruits, eat you some nuts and berries, stuff like that. Um, if you are big on nutrition, you could be helping other people in that area as well, healing people with food. So take, 
really i feel like this is just all about this self-love and getting in line with spirit and making sure that you are healing yourself with food okay that you're eating because like i said this is much bigger than just um you aries i'm sorry it is you are the general so i'm gonna need you to get in line all right all right aries i love you so much peace out